So we are still here, still in a dream within a dream, in a lean stream to be specific actually, but we've defeated her two little hidden eye things and now the last area to go to is the desert. But before we do that, I think we should probably, you know, heal up on our MP and our HP. Seeing as I have no MP at the moment. And now we are ready to head into the desert since we destroyed the, the yellow crystal. And yeah, here we are. And uh, you might remember something. We have another item that we haven't used in like a thousand years. Yeah, it's the sand cape. Now you can see I'm actually like trying to head in this direction, but like something's blocking me off right here. That's because if I would walk in that direction, I would end up falling through the floor. So it's important to put on the sand cape to prevent yourself from having that happen. Also, you want to go through the right teleporter, not the left one. I don't know where I'm going, but yeah. And if you do go through the floor in this area, then you can get to the treasure chest that you probably saw below. But that's just another herb, and I think there's also Gilder there, both of which being completely useless to us. But hey, we got another pillar up! That's great! That is the last pillar we're gonna need to have up. And now we need to return. Just avoid all these sandworms. Very convenient, though, the, uh, the sand cape, because when we are under there, we are completely invincible, and that's always nice. So there's the pillar that we sent up, and we can use that to jump across like that, and yeah, now we can get to this treasure chest, and of course that's going to contain a key. I'm gonna guess that key is going to go to the boss room, as all the other keys in each section of the lean stream have gone to. So this time now we need to head through the left door. And as you already saw in this room, there's a switch here, but there doesn't seem to be any way to get up. Like we press the switch, but we can't do anything now. Hey! Look who's just in time! But yeah, this time we're actually going to be using a wondrous head because now we have control of Maya. She can't step back on the teleporter, she doesn't have a weapon and can't use any secondary weapons. And her jump seems to be much shorter than Alundra's, but hey, for this one very small moment in time, we get to use Maya. And her only purpose, gameplay-wise, is to just step on Alundra's head and then press two switches. And now we will never play as Maya again. Hope you had fun, viewer. Hope you had fun. That's all you're getting. Oh, here are a bunch of pillars. We can't get past them. But hey, if we kill all the worms in each area, then a pillar magically knows that we killed worms, and it's like, oh, you killed worms? Okay, go on down. You're free to go now. Of course, that makes sense, right? Right? Since all the other personalities are gone, we are only left with what we can assume is the true Aline. If we would have done them in a different order, um, and not had had the desert area last, we would have to fight another hidden eye there, but... Either way, the last area is the boss that you don't have to fight. But hey, we saved Aline! That's amazing! We normally screw up and people end up dead. Oh, I'm sure the time will come for you, Aline. And hey, how about that? We get an upgraded version of our Iron Flail.
why do people just barge into my house? Like, don't I have a lock? You'd think I'd get a lock with all the crazy shit always going on around here. I don't want to help Giles or Giles or whatever I decided to pronounce his name. Fine, another nightmare. I didn't like his first nightmare. It wasn't fun. I don't like that guy. He's a big jerk. I, I really don't want to, you know, have to save him again. I, I just don't. I think I'm actually going to go back to sleep. Good night, guys. Oh, okay, fine, fine. I'll go and save Giles, whatever. That's what you deem necessary, as if it's important or something. I think he's a big jerk. I might not try too hard, you know, just saying. Kind of already saved him once. I didn't say that. So Mel's just uses his nightmares to cause them to pray to him, which they unknowingly do, since he is the statue down there with uh, Ronan and under the chapel. Well, it's not like they haven't risked our life before. What the hell is that? The Merg? The, those monkeys? What? They haven't been around since the beginning of the game. Thought I killed enough of them that they figured out, hey, we die in like two hits. We probably shouldn't fight this guy, you know? And I have a better sword now. They'll probably die in one. Yeah, go barricade yourself upstairs. We'll go out and, and by we, I mean I, will go out and kill the Merg. Our greatest victory yet! Melzus must be shaking in fear at the might of our ability to destroy four monkeys. We are amazing. Well, that was fun. Let's go back inside. So, are we ready to enter dreams now? Yeah, I guess. I'll go through their barricade that they've definitely put up. And, oh, no, they haven't. Wait, what? I was just down there. Look, she's fine. She's fi- Oh, crap. He's a werewolf again. Just like, um, what's his name? Yeah, it was you. you. You're a werewolf right now, Giles. I don't know if you're paying attention. No, it wasn't me. It was the werewolf, and that would be you. Why does everyone blame me for everything? I'm just a hero here. And another one goes down. Hear that sad music? Giles is dead. Oh, it was sorry. We were just trying to save someone's life.
Yeah, and most of them blame me. Maybe be self-dependent, maybe, you know? Be the masters of your own destiny, maybe? Just an idea. Well, at least I don't have to enter his dream. <laughs> 